In this video, I will guide you step by step how you can fill the residence permit, so called open source title for Austrian visa. It could be the study visa, family reunion visa, work visa. For all the visa purposes, there is the same form. Uh, since uh, October 2022, they put a same form. They put all the options in a same form, and uh, it's uh, a universal uh, and uh, it's very simple, uh, straightforward. Uh, we have to fill the form and uh, just submit it. So I will guide you uh, step by step how you can fill the form. So this is an overview of the form. Uh, you have to fill this. Uh, First of all, you have to put a, a European standardized uh, photo. The dimensions of the photo is uh, already clear, 35 millimeter to 45 mm, uh, millimeter. And uh, uh, if you open this link, then uh, they will also show you uh, what is the standard uh, or like acceptable photo uh, style uh, you have to uh, attach. Uh, just a hint is like uh, it should be in a white background without any boundaries uh, that they normally accept. So uh, first of all, you have to uh, like uh, give them a photo. My recommendation is don't staple it or like do not glue it and bring like uh, two extra photos with you. At least uh, three photos plus one reserve. So uh, take four photos with you and uh, depending upon uh, your uh, office where you are applying for a visa or like extension of your uh, permit uh, they may need one for scanning purpose and they will return to you uh, so yeah you have to uh, bring at least uh, according to my recommendation four photos with you uh, so that uh, you get a smooth uh, uh, overview uh, by them so uh, next is like uh, uh, first of all is uh, uh, image or like a pass bill is a uh, your face image uh, or photo and the second is like a uh, step two you don't have to sign it anything here uh, when you are filling the form okay so you have to go there you have to uh, sign in front of uh, visa officer or maybe uh, someone who is collecting your document or maybe your uh, biha uh, it depends upon your case but don't sign it in home uh, else you have to fill the new form and they will ask you to sign in front of them and please please be careful the sign should match exactly uh, the signature in your passport or in your other identity documents so it is very very uh, it must be very clear that this document uh, must be uh, clear the signature must be clearly visible uh, in those documents next uh, you don't have to uh, fill anything in step three the step three is only for the behold uh, the office the embassy where you are putting your case where you are submitting your file okay so you don't have to fill anything in this uh, area next comes uh, the step for which purpose you are applying okay if you are applying for uh, red white red card or red white red plus card or blue card or like permanent residency uh, like if you are applying for permanent uh, permanent residency then you have to click uh, here like option number seven if you are uh, applying for a f uh, family visa then you have to click here so it totally depends upon in which category you are applying okay uh, and also like uh, there are some uh, categories for often thought uh, uh, title and there are some uh, categories for the studies and the other purposes. So you have to choose carefully uh, in which category you are like uh, uh, you will be applying. OK, so you have to take some time um, uh, and maybe check cross check uh, uh, which step uh, which option you have uh, you should need okay so this is a standard form what they did is like before that there was like 10 11 forms and now uh, they merge all these forms into one form and they give the options uh, for each category like you have to choose for students normally uh, they have to select step number 19 i repeat they have to select step number 19 uh, for the purpose of students if you are going for work visa normally your uh, visa lies in this category of red white red card 
but it totally depend upon you uh, which fam uh, which option is lies to you if you are a family member and you are like uh, other family member is already in austria then you have you may have to apply uh, a family in uh, and give a family reunion visa so that will be option it so it's a uh, like small uh, clarification what you have to do okay so for students uh, uh, you have to select uh, step number uh, 19 and then comes uh, the actual form first of all they ask you are you applying for first time or you are going to uh, apply for extension uh, what does it means uh, st antrag means first time entry like if you are applying from your country to embassy uh, for first time visa or like uh, not to visa for uh, first time residence permit then you have to click here uh, st antrag but uh, in future if you are applying uh, the form will be the same in future if you are applying you just need to change this option uh, for example you go to an admission you are going to vienna uh, firstly you applied from your home country uh, to austrian embassy for a residence permit and then you need an extension you go to a uh, visa uh, residence permit for one year then you want to extend your residence permit uh, when you are already in austria and you spend one year then you have to select uh, option number 6 okay uh, then comes your details like uh, minor debt and uh, these are the information which you have to fill okay so this is like uh, not very complicated one it's here comes your last name okay uh, i will upload this form you can like uh, download the form from the comments in the uh, uh, from uh video description and then you can fill this form okay so this is not a big deal uh so if you have uh your last name like if you have more than one last name you have to write your last name your last uh, uh that is very 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 important that the last name must be exactly same as in your uh, passport or in your id last name yeah and then uh, your first name or your middle name this should be here middle name plus your first name uh, both should be or like it, it depends upon how it is written in your uh, passport you have to check your passport and then write the uh, first name and middle the uh, old family name this is only relevant uh, for the people who just change their family name normally for females if they used uh, before their marry their fathers name or the other family name and now they are using the husband's family name or vice versa then they have to write uh, uh, the name here here you have to write your gender male uh here for male or for female you have to just uh, cross it okay depends upon uh what is your gender then uh, date of birth the date of birth uh, must be uh, firstly day and then comes month and then comes year okay so it should be with full stop uh, day month and year and then uh, where you was uh born in which country you was born okay uh, for usa um, canada america india pakistan bangladesh whatever okay then your city in which city you are born please do check this uh, information in your passport also that is very very important okay then you have to write down here okay um, uh, i don't know uh, yeah whatever this it is uh, then uh, if you are if you are marriage uh, so uh, this this option is like uh, your your marriage status uh, if you are married or like single uh, or if you don't want to uh, disclose uh, so for example if you if you never uh, married uh, then you have to check this box uh, or and if if you are already married uh, then you have to select uh, that you are marriage uh, so it depends upon your case so uh, if you are a single uh, click here if you are a married person and uh, you have to click here if you are divorced like you are uh, you was married um, before then you have to click this third option and if your partner is died unfortunately then you have to 
click this function uh, this uh, option okay so uh, i repeat uh, uh, for single for married person uh, if partner is died uh, sorry uh, yeah uh, and the last uh, sorry uh, this third one is divorced and the fourth one is if the partner is died so you have to fill accordingly then comes your citizen uh, ship like uh, if you have a citizenship like um, you are american or indian or pakistani whatsoever yeah and then uh, if you are a citizen by birth then you have to like uh, write down the date of uh, your birth here okay uh, and if you got citizenship after migration or so then you have to fill it accordingly then uh, if you had like uh, other citizenship if you if you give of your old citizenship then you have to write down down here like uh, for example if you if you after five years you get your austrian uh, uh, citizenship then you have to give of your old uh, citizenship okay that date you must have to write down here for example uh, I I wave of my citizenship in uh, 2020. Then I have to write uh, first. I don't know exactly what first uh, first 2020. I uh, wave of my for example Pakistani uh, citizenship. So so you have to fill it uh, accordingly. And if you still have the uh, yeah do, didn't change anything, then you have to leave this uh, alone so you don't have to write anything uh, in this section okay and then comes uh, uh, step number uh, uh, sorry uh, the next uh, important information for you is like if in the past you had any residence permit in austria okay step number 20 if you had any residence permit in austria then you have to write down here and what was the the expiry date or what is the expiry date of that residence permit okay then comes if you had uh, health insurance in austria you have to write down here and the health insurance number uh, also like eight digit number that you have to write down here so then comes uh, step number 24 where you have to write down your address details okay so here you have to write down your uh, address in which country you are living what is your full address and then uh, post post id post uh, postal number or, uh, and then uh, city or town where you are living land and then full address yeah um if if you are if you had uh, in the past any other address then you have to write here or else you have to uh, wave off step 28 29 and 30 you don't have to fill anything okay then you have to put your uh, telephone number and email address so it is totally up to you uh, which uh, phone number like uh, or you, you want to give your own phone number or someone else phone number totally depend upon you so uh, don't worry just put the details here what they are asking okay so then they are asking for uh, the authorized person if you want to give authority to someone else on behalf of you then you have to fill that so normally for the residence permit for the visa filing you have to go by yourself if you are 18 plus or if you are like um, younger than 18 or like you are applying for your child or then parents have to fill the uh, detail here okay so then here are the uh, information related to their parents so normally they ask if you if you are younger than 18 years then you have to fill but uh, my recommendation is that I always try to fill that uh, uh, information uh, it's same as your details family name the first name date of birth and citizenship and then uh, if they had uh, if they are in austria and austrian information then the 42 and 43 number is relevant uh, 42 43 and 44 else this this is not required and the same for father and the mother okay then uh, comes the information for uh, your wife uh, here you have to put the information 
for your wife or your husband uh, if wife is applying then he uh, she has to fill the information of her husband uh, and vice versa if uh, wife is in austria on study visa and she wants her husband to be uh, with her then uh, she have to give the information of her husband then comes the information of the children same not too much complicated uh, family name name date of birth citizenship and if they hold any uh, uh, residence permit yeah normally uh, for initially they don't uh, they may don't have any anything so now comes the information related to your finances who is uh, sponsoring you or like what type of uh, sources or funding you have so normally for students uh, for visa applicants so normally for the visa applicants uh, for the student visa they have to write down um, their own account like if they have account then uh, in in their home country they have to write down the name of the bank and uh, like tell them this is a, a savings account spavo or the normal account or the bank account you can write down in english uh, like um, savings bank account and then you have to write down uh, the amount uh, conversion in euros and you you can write down your own and also if uh, someone is sponsoring you then you have to write down on step 2 who is sponsoring you and how much uh, like in uh, the he is sponsoring you uh, like what is his actual balance and then comes uh, uh, the information related to your elder how much um energy they are putting or like how much money they are putting to you uh what is their incomes uh this you can also write down in step 2 if you are uh, giving the information of your own okay so this is a detailed um uh, step how much you need and these things but uh, just uh, for a short summary for the 6 point number 60 for you have to write down which type of uh, saving account or if you have a saving account or a land acquisition uh, you have to write down here and the amount and if your parent or someone is sponsoring you then you have to write down on 64.2 who is sponsoring you with what type of sources and how much it worth in euros then comes the next step uh, uh, from where you got this amount okay you can write down if someone is giving you the money then you have to write down oh, the information in step 66 this relates to uh, the amount for point number uh, 64.1 okay if someone uh, has given you like your brother has given you 7000 euros and he is working in some company then you have to write down here that your brother sponsored you 7000 euros as such things and then comes point number 67 this is like uh, you don't need uh, someone um, someone's money but your partner like what is written on point number uh, 52 is your partner yeah your partner your husband or your wife is sponsoring you then you have to click yes or no okay so then uh, next comes the Point sixty-eight. This is relating to person who is already in Austria or such things, and uh, they have to give their uh, on the whole uh, salaries, okay, and how much he is monthly earning, okay. So this is a type of uh, income is normally uh, income, yeah. It depend. It can be salary. It can be pension. It can be something else or like health benefits. You have to write down uh, what type of income you are getting. Okay. Then hufti gung sikkalaro. That is another topic of the video. I will upload that video soon after this one. Uh, how uh, this is a sponsorship letter. If you have a sponsorship letter, then you have to click yes or else no. So there are like three options. Option number one. funding uh, uh, like who is sponsoring you or such things uh, then comes uh, with your own uh, income if you are already in austria depending upon which type of visa you are applying or then uh, option 3 is that if someone is uh, sponsoring you then you have to uh, write down here so uh, the option 4 uh, is not so important for 
someone who is applying for first time visa okay this is only for the extension purposes uh, how much is uh, yeah uh, but you ha- if you have some of these information like you know your monthly room rent then you can put it here okay uh, step number uh, 72 or else uh, you can like leave it and then on the halto salon this is like uh, if you are paying some credit information or such things but this is the step 74 75 and 76 these are really not so important for your case okay then uh, you have to uh, go to end of this page like page number exactly this one uh, so it is a page number 5 then you have to uh, write down the place where or city where you are filling this form date when you are filling this form and the signature so here you have to uh, like signature and then comes at the end of uh, this document here again which uh, state you yeah this is only you have to fi- uh, uh, sign in front of the visa office it is like extra written that you have to fill in front of the visa office so where you have to sign sign uh, at page number 5 two times but you have to uh, submit it in front of visa officer and or like uh, magistrate or whatsoever where you are applying then they have uh, uh, they will allow you to sign and then you have to sign in front of them okay then comes uh, some information related to your studies if you are like uh, uh, going for uh study this is only for stat um, like their internal calculation it doesn't uh, it it should not have any influence on your visa but if you want to fill then these are the information your last names your first name it's also like english and german so if you have done some uh like uh, why you are uh, where you are living in austria so these are information and then they will ask you related to uh, have you done any a practical experience in your with your studies what was your like last degree like you had uh, ffsc or like bachelor master or degree so these are only for the information purposes and then uh, which qualification or which field you uh, you were in in the past so these are like all the informations if you wanna click uh, wanna wanna submit then you uh, you are free to submit but until page number 5 your uh, normal form is uh, finished uh, you have filled the form and nothing else you have to worry about so this is a visa form i want to give you some tips at the end so please fill the form with uh, with uh, uh, typewriter or in computer like in a pdf editor or such software do not fill the form with hand okay uh, i will upload a video related to sponsorship letter how you can or like how you can request from someone who is already in austria or in europe uh, to issue you a hoftigung siklarung that point we discussed in the form like you don't need then any type of fundings or funding sources uh, for your visa if you have a, a sponsorship letter okay so stay tuned with me and uh, wait for the next video thank you